What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and Node.js just released a new, brand new security patch for November 16 and uh, it has one fix. Denial of service. Ooh, fancy. Through DNS request. So this is this is a serious one guys. So let's discuss it and see if you really need to upgrade your Node.js and install this patch or not, right? So how about we discuss that? An Node.js application that allows an attacker to trigger a DNS request for a host of their choice could trigger a denial of service by getting the application to resolve a DNS record with a large number of responses. So let's, let's demystify what that means. Every time, guys, you hear the word denial of service as a security patch, that means someone figured out a way to crash your backend. Doesn't matter how could be by sending a malicious request, could be by, by, by overloading it, could be by sneaking a path into a path where you didn't anticipate any of activation application crash, or they could sneak in a request, a small request that caused your application to churn and pause. And as a result, it denies service for other legitimate users. Whenever you see that, that means that's what necessarily happened. And this is exactly what happened here. Okay, so the bug here is, is a single one line of code, but if only if you have a Node.js application you spun up and you're using a library called, I think, Ares, that's C Ares, and that library resolves DNS query. So, and what does DNS? That means give me a host name, I'll give you the IP address. That's what DNS is. And if you're using that library, and not only just that, if you're using it for hard-coded, proper, proper hard-coded DNS that you know about, that's fine. But if you're actually exposing some APIs for other users to resolve their own DNS, then you should worry, and then you, you and you have to update that uh, to the latest Node.js that you have, whether 12.19.1, 14.15.1, 15.2.1, ouch, that hurt. Before we look at the code, the bug was the query to get a DNS record, you give me a host name, I'll give you back the IP address and the time to live, uh, how long the query should be cached before, uh, uh, on the server, on the on the backend, before uh, I, I this cache is outdated, right? So that's the TTL, that's the trick here. So there was an array, right, of the maximum number of entries that you can save, right? So that's like, I don't know, 10 records. And you, because a DNS record can have multiple IP addresses, you know, SRV records and whatnot for high availability, that number, that fixed length of the array, is not being respected. So if the destination has, I don't know, 100 IP address or 100 t time to lives, then you just exceeded that. You just went out of the bound of that array. And since Node.js is written in C and C++, you just went outside your memory. So you're accessing an invalid memory application. And that's just a disaster for a crash. Let's look at the code. That's exactly what happened here, right? So that's the the in address is the essentially the number, how many how many addresses that came back, right? And this is the array, so which is denoted as a pointer, right? And this was the original code. They were they were just respecting whatever you give me back as a result, whatever all of this uh, records that came back from the DNS, bleh, just shove it into the DNS record without respecting the maximum number, the array itself, right? And they basically added a check to truncate to the to the maximum number, right? So that's the fix, essentially. If they don't do that, the app will crash immediately, right? Because you just went outside the bound. That's that's how arrays work. You guys don't see this in JavaScript and 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 uh, garbage collection uh, languages because you spec you usually JavaScript don't have this idea of having, hey, uh, you have to specify a specific array of size, and then you if you, you cannot go beyond that. No, you can just 
declare an array and you can add 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 and the memory will be allocated as as necessary right and if you if you cut that array back the garbage collection will kick in and clean up well, this this doesn't exist in c right this this code is written in c in this case right so that's what i want to discuss and um, in this case if i if i if i have a node.js app that i know it resolve my own host name i'm gonna create a new dns and I'm, I'm i'm gonna add i don't know 100 ip addresses right and then i'm gonna just flood that node.js service with that host name that results to a I don't know, 100 IP addresses. And then I flood you with that. And I'm going to say, hey, I expect only as a maximum record, I expect only three. But you're going to get 100 as a result. And your application will crash because it doesn't check that number. It doesn't respect that number that you specified, the maximum number of records that come back. Once you exceed that array size, bleh, the app crashes. All right, guys, that was a quick video discussing this latest security news. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.